Good morning and welcome to the regular meeting of Pittsburgh City Council for Tuesday, March 31st. Will the clerk please call the roll? Burgess. Here. Mr. Coghill. Here. Ms. Gross. Here. Mr. Kraus. Here. Mr. Laval. Here. Mr. O'Connor. Here. Ms. Strasberger. Here. Mr. Wilson. Here. Mrs. Kell Smith, President. Here. Nine members present. Thank you, everyone. Will you please rise for those in the room for the Pledge of Allegiance remain standing for a moment of silence. And those at home, if you'd like to join us, please join us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Our next order of business would be proclamations, but we are, have no proclamations at this time. I think, though, Madam Clerk, I'd like to talk with you about maybe having proclamations read into the record for members that want to have them and mail to people, so we can do that. Um, so we'll talk about that after the meeting, in case member, and I'll send, we'll send an update email to the members. Should I make this announcement for public comment? Mm -hmm. The papers are mm -hmm. different. So this is an announcement regarding uh, public comment. Council Chambers is still in lockdown and we continue to encourage members of the community to email your comments to the City Clerk's Office at cityclerksoffice at pittsburghpa.gov and the clerk will um, forward all the comments on to council members so that we can still stay in touch and understand what the public would like for us to know about uh, specific legislation before us or work before council. Again, the email is city, C-I-T-Y, clerks, C-L-E-R-K-S, office, O-F-F-I-C-E, at Pittsburgh, spelled out, all lowercase, P-A, dot gov. And will this be, this is on the website, correct? Yes. Okay. And this will continue to be the process until further notice. Uh, we are trying to work on some additional ways for public to comment, but it's getting very challenging. The next order of business will be presentation of papers. Uh, Councilman Burgess, Chair of Urban Recreation. Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Reverend Burgess presents Bill Number 252, Resolution Consenting to an Amendment to the Yale Tribe planning study and authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of City Planning on behalf of the city to take necessary actions to seek necessary consent for and if obtained to undertake an amended planning study as a prerequisite to considering an amendment to the current East Liberty Transit Revitalization Investment District Boundary. Thank you. Councilman Coghill, Chair of Public Works. Madam Chair. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Coghill presents Bill Number 242, Resolution Granting unto Brendan Noon their successors and assigns the privilege and license to construct, maintain, and use at their own cost and expense to install two slim AC condenser units in a planter box screened with cedar fencing on the side of building at 1247 Palo Alto Street in the 22nd Ward, 1st Council District. Bill number 243, resolution providing for an agreement with Alfred Benish and Company for preliminary and final design services during construction and miscellaneous services for the Swine Burn Bridge replacement project and providing for the payment of the cost thereof not to exceed $830,572.47. Bill number 244, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of finance and the director of the Department of Public Works to place a deed restriction upon Paulson Park in Reitman Park as required by the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources which provided funds for the Paulson Park and Reitman Park redevelopment. Thank you. Councilwoman Gross, Chair of Intergovernmental Affairs. No new papers, Madam President. Thank you, Councilwoman. 
Councilman Krause, Chair of Human Resources. Morning, Madam President. No new papers. Good morning. Councilman Lavelle, Chair of Finance and Law. <coughs> Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Lavelle presents Bill Number 245, resolution providing for a non-monetary settlement in favor of Brian Campbell as Esquire, fully releasing the city from all claims and liability for alleged monies owed to him for professional services mm -hmm. provided to City of Pittsburgh professional police officers, FOP members who were named as parties to lawsuits filed in state or federal court as described in a lawsuit filed in the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas. Bill number 246, resolution authorizing the issuance of a warrant and the total sum of $47,500 in favor of Douglas Anderson, administrator, and his attorneys, Joyce and Bittner, fully releasing the city from all claims and liabilities for alleged personal injuries as described in a lawsuit filed in the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas. Thank you. Councilman O'Connor, Chair of Public Safety Services. Uh, no new papers, Madam President. I, yes, you do. Do we not have a, or are those under my committee? I thought those were under Councilman LaValle's. I'm sorry. Council, Councilman O'Connor presents okay. Bill number 249. Ordinance amending and supplementing the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances at Title II. Fiscal Article 9, Property Taxes, Chapter 265, and Chapter 267, sorry, Sections 26703 and 26707 to change the effective date to June 30th, 2020. Bill number 250, resolution requiring the Director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure to create and promulgate or update existing operating procedures permits, forms, rules, and regulations related to vehicle or transportation operations not already underway or otherwise sanctioned by existing ordinance or regulation over, above, in, within, on, or under the right-of-way within an area zone as P or Parks District as established by Chapter 905, Special Purpose Districts by the City of Pittsburgh Zoning Code. Bill number 251, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Office of Management and Budget and the director of finance on behalf of the city to take appropriate and necessary actions to negotiate and secure lines of credit for the purpose of maintaining and supporting continuous operations during and immediately after the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. On the first and the third bill, we have a motion to waive or wait. Do we have a second? Do, any discussion? Those in those in favor? Aye. 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 You, any opposed? Aye. Thank you. you. Appear on today's meeting uh, with Councilman Lavelle. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Strasberger, Chair of Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management, which has been a very busy committee this, this month. Madam President. Councilwoman Strasberger presents Bill Number 247, Resolution Authorizing the Mayor and Director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure and or the Department of Innovation and Performance on behalf of the city to enter into an agreement with populists in order to receive access to their visualization platform suite, which will further the city's ability to deliver mobility services to residents. Thank you. Councilman Wilson, Chair of Land Use and Economic Development. Madam President. Councilman Wilson presents Bill Number 248. Ordinance amending and supplementing the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances, Title IX, Zoning Chapter 915, Environmental Performance Standards, Subsection 9506, Sustainable Development for Publicly Financed Buildings by Deleting Certain Language and Adding a New Subsection 9508 Title, Sustainable Development for City-Owned Facilities. Thank you. And then for myself, uh, Chair of Hearings, I have no... Uh, no papers right now. Is there, um, we'll now move on to unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business before council? 
Seeing none, we'll move on to committees. We'll move on to the next order of business, the report of committees for final action. Councilman Lavelle, Committee of Finance and Law. Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Lavelle presents Bill Number 238, Report of the Committee on Finance and Law for March 24, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 213, Ordinance Amendment in Pittsburgh, the City Code at Title I, Administrative Article 7, Procedures, Chapter 161, Contracts, in order to increase the council manic amount from $3,000 to $5,000. Bill Number 216, Resolution providing for the sale of certain property acquired by the city through tax sales, items A and B, 11 and 13 Dick. Bill number 217, resolution providing for the conveyance by the city of certain property having been placed for sale to adjourning property owners in conjunction with the city of Pittsburgh side yard program, item A through K. 1210 Westmoreland, 7301 Monticello, 228 Kramer, 2922 Banksville, 1005 Morrison, 1701 and 1705 Brighton, 0 Marquez, 1519 and 1529 Brighton, and 69 Watson. Thank you. You have heard the reading and the titles of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Seeing none, the bills are now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President. Aye. Ayes 9, no 0. The bills having received the legally required number of votes are finally passed. Councilman Anthony Coghill, Committee on Public Works. Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Coghill presents Bill Number 239, Report of the Committee on Public Works for March 24th, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 214. Ordinance amending the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances at Title Seven, Business Licensing, Chapter 719, Vendors and Peddlers, by amending the existing language of Section 719.10 to add sites approved by the Sidewalk and Vending Committee to the list of sites approved by Council. Is that it? Bill number 215. Resolution authorizing the Mayor and the Office of Management and Budget to renew the non-exclusive license agreement with the Federal General Services Administration for the Veterans Affairs Highland Drive Campus at 7180 Highland Drive for limited use and to conduct due diligence pursuant to the application approved by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Justice to acquire the property for law enforcement and emergency management purposes. You've heard the reading and the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Hearing none, the bills are now ready for final passage. Those in favor of the bill will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. <clears throat> Aye. Ms. Strasberger? Aye. Mr. Wilson? Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President? Aye. Ayes 9, no 0. The, thank you. The bills having received the legally required numbers of votes are finally passed. Councilman Bruce Krause, Committee on Human Resources. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Councilman Krause presents Bill Number 240. Report of the Committee on Human Resources for March 24, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 234, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Human Resources and Civil Service to enter into an agreement with the Flexible LLC for professional on-site child care services 
for a psalm not to exceed $131,625 over three years and for the payment of costs thereof. Thank you. You have heard the reading and the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bill? Seeing none, will the clerk, or hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Kraus. Aye. Mr. Laval. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasburger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President. Aye. Ayes 9, no 0. Thank you. The bills have received the legally required number of votes finally passed. Now we move on to our last committee for the day, Councilman Bobby Wilson, Committee on Land Use and Economic Development. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Wilson presents Bill number 241. Report of the Committee on Land Use and Economic Development for March 24th, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 218, ordinance amending and supplementing the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances at Title 10, Building, Chapter 1004, International Property Maintenance Code Adoption, by adopting the 2015 edition of the International Property Maintenance Code, and with the amendments thereto, specified in Section 1402 of the City Code, as well as making certain amendments to the existing language of Section 1402 of the City Code. Thank you. Uh, you've heard the reading. Uh, Councilman, you have a um, amendment. Yeah, motion, yeah, motion to amend Bill, Bill 218. Thank you. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion on the amendment? Can we take the vote for the uh, amendment? You take a voice vote. Okay. All in favor of the um, amendment? Uh, Aye. Those opposed? Aye. No. Aye. Okay. The bill's amended. Any discussion on the amended bill? Yes. Teresa, this is Anthony. Um, okay. Hey, Bobby, this was the most common sense piece of paper that somebody put in front of me so far. You know, I couldn't tell you the onslaught of phone calls I got from people who were had signs for occupancy permits and you know we didn't have record of it so they were getting drilled with having to hire an engineer and do all these things so by grandfathering these people in was just the best thing that you could have done so thanks for your leadership on it you know uh, i can't wait to tell the people in my district that no longer going to be a problem mm -hmm. well, i appreciate that uh they're still Still required to pay the uh, the maintenance fee to get the license, so it's still going to be inspected. And this really, you know, in a time like this, uh, when one small business come back online and they're they're you know trying to recoup, uh, this is one less thing that they have to uh, maybe spend money on to try and come into um, you know basically you know the safety is number one thing, so they'll still be in, doing the inspection, uh, but this allows them. Uh, to really continue business without having to worry about that piece. Absolutely. And it's not even the money, the, the $75. It's the headaches that, that you have to go through to do it. And, you know, this was in place when, before Sarah came in. And I just want to say Sarah, I think, is doing a wonderful job. And, you know, I hope she's put on as a full-time uh, director through through after she's maybe back from maternity leave. But, um so, so yeah, just thanks again, Bobby. I wish you were there a year ago um, and had, had this amendment because uh, most of my businesses have already been cited for it. So, uh, good job. Thank you. Any other members? Oh, well, thanks. I thank everyone for the discussion. Any other members? Councilman Wilson, do you want to say any more? Uh, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, well, then I'd like to say thank you, and thank you for allowing me to uh, sponsor with you and for your staff uh, and and uh, the director um, all working together. I just want to thank everyone. I think that uh, we all realize not only was this an issue before this um, 
crisis, health crisis that we're going through and this economic crisis that we're going through, but it is definitely an issue right now for our small businesses. And the last thing we want to do is come after a small business, cite a small business during a time when most are struggling to keep their doors open, if they still have kept their doors open. So I want to thank you very much and the timing couldn't, couldn't have been more perfect. Thank you. And so now having, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Seeing no further discussion, the, bills are ready for, the bill is ready for final action. All in favor of the passage will vote aye when the name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Hello? Mr. Coghill. Is that me? Aye. <laughs> Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Kraus. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor? Aye. Ms. Strasberger? Aye. Mr. Wilson? Aye. Mrs. Kale Smith, President? Aye. Ayes 9, no 0. The bills having received the legally required number of votes are finally passed. Now we'll move on to motions and resolutions, and I have an announcement. Uh, as soon as I find it, I'll tell you what it says. <laughs> Put it over here. So we have, um, we'll adjourn this meeting and the regular meeting and we'll break for a few minutes before we come back to the standing committee's meeting in which Councilman Lavelle will chair and he walks in on cue. He just walked in. Um, you can find an updated council meeting information. You can find any updated council meeting information posted on the city council meeting webpage at pittsburghpa.gov forward slash clerk forward slash council hyphen meetings. And do we have anything from the members? Any discussion from the members? Hearing none, I just want to. Thank you. I just want to thank all of you. I, I don't know if people realize that, um, that how difficult it is to do these meetings via phone, especially when you have legislation and, and different things. We are looking into other options for our meetings since this is going on a little bit longer um, than we had anticipated, and we'll keep the public updated through our website and through social media, uh, the clerk's office through social media, and hopefully all of us will share that information as well when we uh, make some decisions here. But. Um, I want to thank all the council members and your staff for continuing to work from home for the people. It, just because they're not physically here, I want people to realize that you are still re receiving calls, you are still taking emails, you are still keeping up on social media, and still helping your communities with all the necessities that we can. And, and it's a very challenging time for everyone, and hopefully uh, we all get through this. But I want to thank all of you and, of course, our everyone working to get us through this crisis in the entire city, including our medical staff and all our personnel here within the city. Um, with that said, can I have a motion to approve the minutes and adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. <coughs> Do we have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Second. Meet. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> meeting. Aye. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>
comment. However, council chambers remain on lockdown, but we do uh, encourage the public to submit comment to city clerk's office at pittsburghpa.gov. All submitted comments will be forwarded to council members. We will now move on to our standing committee agenda. Will the clerk please take the roll? Reverend Burgess. Here. Mr. Coghill. Here. Ms. Gross. Ms. Gross. Mr. Krause. Here. Mr. O'Connor. Here. Mrs. Kell Smith. Ms. Strasberger. Here. Mr. Wilson. Mr. Lavelle Chair. Here. Seven members <clears throat> present. Thank you. That takes us to our first committee for today, which is Finance and Law, chaired by myself. We have two supplemental papers, um, Bill 249. Bill 249, ordinance amended and supplemented in the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances at Title II, Fiscal Article 9, Property Taxes, Chapter 265, Exemptions for Residential Improvement, Section 26504, in 26509 and chapter 267 exemption for industrial and commercial improvements sections 26703 and 26707 to change the effective date to June 30th 2020 need a motion councilman o'connor motion approve brief discussion second discussion I just want to thank everybody. This, these are uh, LERTA extensions. I know Councilman Gross and I did speak about maybe changing some of the language for next Tuesday, but uh, we were talking to the administration about this bill, and I guess it's going to be the following bill about um, uh, taking out possibly a line of credit. But um, we're not approving any permits at this time, and there are some uh, developments that are following the LERTA guidelines but obviously can't get a permit approved so we are just extending it uh, till the 30th of June is what the mayor's office had requested so thank you councilman any other discussion councilman Lavelle this is um, councilwoman Gross. sorry I missed roll call I had to step away from my phone for a minute um, I uh, just want to note for the record that we have been extending the 2007 LERTA package. And we went through extensive debate about the revisions last year, and but still have not enacted them because we've been giving this date, this it must be since, since the summer of 2017, we have been extending the 2007 credit. I, I acknowledge that this is a global pandemic and a very exceptional situation where construction is shut down by order of the governor of Pennsylvania. Um, but I just want to remind members that we have significant revisions to LERTA that this extension is, um, you know, um, is waylaying. Um, and that when we get out of this crisis, we really do need to talk about finally cutting off the 2007 tax credits and tax abatement that are designed to reward any kind of development. And we've gone through extensive public comment about how that is not what is needed in 2018, 2019, and now 2020. Um, and so while Again, given the extreme extenuating conditions right now, I'll be voting yes, but we really do need to acknowledge that um, it's about time to cut those off. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman. Councilman Smith. Councilman, this is Councilwoman Smith. Yes. Can, I just want to make sure I, I, I mentioned that I'm glad that we're, we're taking this action today. I think that we need to talk a little bit more about what we're doing in the future because the economy and development and construction, all these things have taken a very significant hit during this time. So whatever conversations took uh, place prior to this, I think we have to have additional conversations because we're certainly in a much different place than we were before. And I know what it means to my district um, because we don't receive, receive these 
these types of incentives on our side of town. Uh, and we'd like to make sure that we are. So I'd like to have some conversations about 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 that after we all this get you know, settled down. But I do think Councilman's right that we do have to have some conversations. But I do think that the conversations that happened previously, I think everything has changed considering what we're going through right now. Thank you, Councilwoman. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Any other discussion? I'll simply add that I agree with Councilwoman Smith that once we come out of this crisis, we're not going to fully understand what sort of LERTA is necessary. We, we may need LERTAs that incentivize people actually going back to work and getting back onto the workforce. Um, so I think we'll have to have a very robust conversation about LERTA once we indeed do get out of this. Hearing no further conversation, all those in favor? Any opposed? The bill is recommended. Bill 251. Bill 251, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Office of Management and Budget and director of finance on behalf of the city to take appropriate and necessary actions to negotiate and secure lines of credit for the purpose of maintaining and supporting continuous operations during and immediately after the COVID-19 pandemic. Need a motion? Motion to approve. Discussion. Second. Discussion, Councilman Second. McConnell. I want to first thank uh, all members. I think we're all listed as sponsors. I want to thank the administration. I uh, spoke to them uh, last week about this, uh, their budget office, our budget office, and this is just to get prepared for what type of loss we, I mean, we know we're going to take a loss with parking revenue, amusement tax, other taxes, um, but this is just to get us prepared. And other cities across the country are starting to do this right now as well, um, just to get prepared. And hopefully there is a local bank that the mayor's office and budget can uh, negotiate with with our finance department to hopefully help us get a line of credit so we don't have to, you know, make layoffs or raise taxes in the future. We are just at a crazy time right now, and this is just to get get a little bit ahead of ourselves so we can break down the numbers in a couple months, and then obviously it, it will have to come back to council whatever decision uh, we all decide. But this is just being a little bit proactive. I want to thank all council uh, and the mayor's office for being supportive. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 The opposed? Bill is approved. That will take us to our invoices. We do have invoices for approval. Need a motion? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Invoices are approved. We also have, we do not have interdepartmental transfers, but we do have P cards in need of approval. Um, motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion on the P cards? Quick uh, discussion, um, members should see in the P cars that there are at least two purchases for personal protection equipment, which is obviously critical and necessary, but I think it's important, and maybe Council President Smith, you may be willing to lead this conversation, to have a conversation about sort of what is our approach to continue to acquire personal protection equipment for our public safety workers. Um, can we potentially share in the expense with the county? Can we potentially share in with the state or the federal government? What does that look like? Is there a single source for us to acquire the, uh, the, the equipment from? Um, but it's probably a conversation we need to have. So can I, I just want to respond real quickly. Just that I think we have a meeting coming up today with an update from um, Chief of Staff Gilman. And maybe that's a conversation you, Councilman O'Connor, since he chairs public safety and um, your finance, maybe the three of us can have uh, with uh, Chief of Staff Gilman. Sounds good. Or mm -hmm. the mayor. Happy office. to, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll try to arrange it today, okay? Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the P cards? Aye. 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 Any opposed? P cards are approved. 
That'll take us to our public works committee, chaired by Mr. Coghill, Bill 229. Bill 229, resolution providing that the city providing that the city of Pittsburgh enter into a professional services agreement with service provider for professional services in connection with the 2020 City Cuts Lawn Care Program and providing of payment not to exceed $300,000. Need a motion? Motion for discussion. To approve a discussion. Motion to approve discussion. Need a second? Second. Councilman Cockhill? Yes, I just wanted to uh, say I, I'm going to be abstaining on, on this today. Uh, I just, you know, $300,000. I had some questions, and I'll do that offline before Tuesday. That's all. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? One abstention? Councilman Cockhill? Yes, same. The bill is recommended. Bill 230. Bill 230, resolution granting unto Western Pennsylvania Conservancy. Their successors and assigns the privilege and license to construct, maintain, and use at their own cost and expense a new rain garden on lot 125A 98 with trench drains on the inlet and outlet side of the garden, located at the intersection of Lincoln Avenue and Frankstown Avenue in the 12th Ward, 9th Council District. You need a motion? Motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Bill is approved. Bill 231. Bill 231. Resolution granting unto Daisy Wilson Artist Community their successors and assign the privilege and license to construct, maintain, and use at their own cost and expense a new set of stairs and stoop to the front of the existing building at 1727 Bedford Avenue in the 3rd Ward, 6th Council District. Need a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Bill is approved. Bill 232. Bill 232. <clears throat> resolution granting unto MMEJM Properties LLC their successors and assign the privilege and license to construct, maintain, and use of their own cost and expense a new round sign on an existing elevator shaft at 2401 Smallman Street, 2nd Ward, 7th Council District. Need a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is approved. Bill 233. Bill 233, resolution granting unto Chase Bank their successors and assigns the privilege and license to construct, maintain, and use at their own cost and expense in awning to be placed over the ATM machine at 1030 Fifth Avenue, First Ward, 6th Council District. Need a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Bill is approved. That takes us to Land Use and Economic Development Committee, chaired by Mr. Wilson, Bill 235. Bill 235, resolution amending resolution number 840, entitled Adopting and Approving the 2020 Capital Budget and the 2020 Community Development Block Grant Program and the 2020 through 2025 capital improvement program by increasing various line items funded by the CDBG Emergency Solution Grant, Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS, and Home Investment Partnerships Program. Need a motion? Uh, motion to approve for discussion. Second. Second. Discussion, Councilman Wilson? Yes. Um, uh, so since the uh, federal government um, doesn't approve their budget until after the cities. 
uh, there was additional CDBG funds that came to us, and uh, these were the, the routes that it was distributed. Um, you can see before you where they are going to. I will note that um, I am happy to see that the Yagging Circle, which has been uh, something that's been a long due, to change that that land, um, that circle around Allegheny Center, um, this additional uh, monies for this project uh, will allow for uh, some street lights. Uh, the previous design did not include street lights, and uh, this one does. And so, uh, this the design took place before Nova Place uh, was up and running. So I'm glad to see that this is going to be able to uh, get the money that it needs to complete the project. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is approved. If the clerk could read the next two together, they both need help for public hearings. Bill 236, resolution providing for the designation <laughs> as a historic structure under Title 11 of the Code of Ordinances that certain structure known as, as the E. Walth House located at 186 Home Street in the Lawrenceville neighborhood, 9th Ward, Bill number 237, resolution providing for the designation as a historic structure under the Title 11 of the Code of Ordinances that certain structure known as the Maori Addison House located at 5134 Carnegie Street in the Lawrenceville neighborhood, 10th Ward. Need a motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Both bills are held for public hearings. <clears throat> Excuse me. That'll take us to our Intergovernmental Affairs Committee, chaired by Councilwoman Gross, Bill 141. Bill 141, resolution adopting plan revision to the City of Pittsburgh's official sewer facilities plan for the 2926 Smallman Street land development project located at 2920 and 2930 Smallman Street. Need a motion? Discussion. Second. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Mr. Chair, this is one of these things that's kind of caught in limbo because since we're not issuing additional permits, I'm not sure when this one will get the permits it needs before we approve the sewer module. So I'm going to motion to hold for three weeks, but keep in mind when it comes back in three weeks, I'm not sure that it will be ready then. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Second. All those in favor of holding the bill for three weeks? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Bill was held for three weeks. That exhausts our agenda. I do have some meeting announcements um, for the public. You can find updated council meeting information posted on the city council meeting webpage, which is pittsburghpa.gov backslash clerk backslash council hyphenated meetings. Um, I also want to acknowledge and thank Sarah Pelt, who is our language interpreter. She's actually in council chambers with us this morning. And I also want to thank Mike Giles of Tri-State Video, who has been helping us get through these times. Any other uh, conversation from members? Uh, Councilman Lavelle, this is Og Hill. I just wanted to thank the other members. You know, I've had personal conversations with most of you just to find out, you know, it's really good to know what's going on in your district and feedback you're getting and what kind of calls you're getting. And a lot of you have a really, a lot of great, um, you know, information source out there and emergency contacts, particularly uh, Councilwoman Gross, we've been cheery picking your stuff and kind of, I guess, sharing it, I guess is what they say, people in my neighborhood. So thanks to everybody for, you know, conversations we've had. Thank you. Any Mr. other Chair, members? Councilman Gross. Councilman. Uh, so thank you. I just, uh, I assume Councilman Coghill is referring to the spreadsheet that my staff is maintaining. Um, <laughs> if anyone's looking for it, it's an open document. So you, it's linked off of our, of course, we all use social media. So off of the District 7 Facebook page. And as we continue to get new sources like the URA, small business funding, or the state DCED funding, or the federal SBA funding, we
we just keep updating the spreadsheet so you can see new information. There's also information on food access. There's information on mental health services. There's information on um, the many neighborhood level groups that have started in my council district. And I want to give a special shout out to the Bloomfield and Friendship. Uh, they call themselves the Mutual Aid Group that's housed on a Facebook page um, that is delivering food um, not only to Bloomfield of Friendship, but it's coordinating with all restaurant workers because so many workers from restaurants are out of business and um, out of work and have no income at all. And so they're really in need of relief. So from everything from diapers to, you know, milk and baby formula, all kinds of uh, food bank needs. These um, Bloomfield residents are delivering, and they're starting to deliver countywide, especially um, through this network of relief for restaurant workers. Um, so I want to give them a special shout out, but Polish Hill is starting some mutual aid. Morningside has started a, a neighborhood network group. Of course, Lawrenceville is super, super organized and has not only a food bank, but also is starting a buddy system for phone calls to seniors who may be isolated and lonely. Um, Stanton Heights is coordinating and starting one as well, and Highland Park has delivery service as well. We're delivering to our local uh, senior center that is uh, the vintage center that's actually located in East Liberty, but it's very close to Highland Park. So I just want to give them all a special shout out. Um, and then of course, coordinating with the United Way, as I mentioned last week. So appreciate it. Good stuff. Thank you. Any other conversation? Hearing none, we need a motion to approve the minutes and adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs>